So I'm just going to show you real quick uh, what I was doing. This is our block with an iPad dock built into it. Uh, really just gives you a nice space here for your, your iPad to sit in uh, and you can run multiple applications. Right now I'm running uh, TouchOSC and I have custom maps here for both Ableton Live and CellDNA using the Max for Live devices so I never have to leave live to control my visuals. So I have my block remote script here, and um, basically uh, what I'm doing here is triggering different uh, uh, different uh, clips, launching clips. Uh, I'm using this to control my device rack uh, here. Um, I have my channel strips here, so this is for volume for each of my eight tracks. Um, this is, these are all my EQ, and these turn the devices on and off. 
control my device right. Um, the interesting part about this is my, I think, the control for selfie. Um, so, right here I have, uh, this is my Max for Live device control. Um, you can see right now I have SoundTrig on. Uh, SoundTrig is uh, analyzing the audio. I pick a um, uh, audio that I want to trigger visuals. Um, so if I turn all this off and I turn the effects down here, you can see all the effects are just playing normal. Um, SoundTrig's off. I can just use these faders to add effects here. Um, and I'm still in live here in the uh, DNA running in the background. Or I can turn SoundTrig on. Um, and SoundTrig kick out the, uh, in this case I have a drum, drum uh, uh, frequencies, and I turn this on, you can see the beat matches the, uh, the audio effect to the, um, the visual effect. Um, I have four different effects set up here, um, so I can turn all of them on, or I can just turn one, one of them on. Um, and I can also do random movie, random frame, next movie transform, so if I just wanted to play the next movie, same time, I can do that. I can just let it do that, I can manipulate the faders myself if I want to. I can also have access to the cross fader here. Um, this here gives me control so I can sequence, I can control. Just These are just generic controls for cell DNA. Uh, I can also have quick presets. I can only change my quick presets and my effect presets. I can do that. Um, and then I've also set up kind of a manual control here. Um, so if I want to just trigger clips, you can just go ahead and trigger the clips. Um, so I, it's really cool because I have you know, access to both the, uh, the audio and the visuals all from the same controller. Uh, the iPad's nice because it gives me these kind of auxiliary controls, but I still like to you know, feel the buttons and, and feel the knobs, and especially when I'm using my device rack um, because it's just not as fun uh, to use just this. Uh, but this really gives me some modular uh, controls um, that I wouldn't be able to use or I have to have a lot of controllers to be able to have all these controls in the controller. So it's a real nice setup. I'm going to make these, uh, this, these templates for Tetras available um, at the download and you will see this uh, block with the iPad app uh, on our website soon.